Okay. Uh, welcome to uh, Human Sexuality, either Bio um, 30 or Psych 30, depending on which class you're in. Bio 30 is section 30135, and Psych, oh, I'm sorry, 30185, and Psych is section 30135. So I'm Billy Open, and I'm the professor. Um, uh, so I just uh, do this quick thing to review, like what to expect for the class, what you need to do, um, what's going to happen, right? Um, so I'm going to, um, this is the first week, you read this, watch this video, it's not going to be very long. I'm going to go, I'm not going to read you the syllabus, you know how to read, but I am going to point to some highlights. And I'm going to walk through the canvas. Okay, so let's see. I'm going to pull up canvas. And this is the home page as I see it, but I'm going to go to the student view so that it's what you're going to, hopefully, it's how you're going to see it. Right? So this is it human sexuality, as I said, psych 30, bio 30, uh, whichever section you're in. All right, it's all the same. Um, and this is me and uh, out at Joshua Tree with my road dog. And here's a little blurb about me and a little thing about the class, right? And then here is the button you already found, obviously, if you're watching this. And then this button here will take you to the syllabus at any given time. And you might have learned that already on your own, All right? Okay, so I'm going to use this to go to the syllabus so that we can, like I said, I'm just going to point some things out, right? So here's the same thing. Here's my email address. Um, email me. I'll meet with you on Zoom. I'll meet with you in person if you want, I, you know, however you prefer to do it. Um, I'm not far from campus, so I have no problem going there. Uh, and I just let you know, I don't really, uh, I respond to emails within one day. And, but not if you email me on Friday night or between, on the weekends, right? Then I'm going to wait until Monday, typically. Okay. Um, here's the deal. I have a new textbook. And so I'm still working on some of that. Uh, don't, you know, so when I screw up, just give me a little break, okay? Uh, anyway, if you click on this link, it's going to take you, if you haven't registered already, if you haven't gotten the book, this is how you do it. And the book is like, as my understanding is the book is only $49.95. So um, it's the best we could do right now. Okay. So you click on that, you go to a thing, register and get your book. If you haven't gone to the bookstore or however it works, All right. then the usual blah, blah, blah from the school about the catalog, you know, from the catalog and the, uh, what you're expected to learn, all right? You, you're responsible to read all this. You're going to sign a contract saying you read all this, so uh, you might want to do it, right? Because later, if you come back to me and say, I didn't, get, I didn't know that, I'm going to say you signed a thing saying you read it and did know it, all right? So here we are again, the book, talking about this, um, and once again, this is the same link to the school to registration video. And then this link is the, the support system for McGraw Hill. So any questions you got, any problems you're having, you can start there. Uh, of course, the usual assignments and grading, right? So there's a uh, work in the chapters every day. There's a section, uh, what's called smart book. You'll understand that once you register. Um, which is worth five points every week uh, for a total of 75 points. There's a chapter quiz every week for 10 points uh, for a total of 150. We're going to have four exams for 100 points each, right? And then there's a short research paper, APA style research paper, uh, which I have a video on and I'll get you a lot more information on this, uh, you know, a little later down the road, right? It's not due to almost the end of the semester. Um, and that's worth 75 points, okay? I don't accept late assignments and I don't allow for makeup exams unless you contact me prior to the exam telling me 
you know, something's happened or if something has happened, like you're in a car accident that day, that day, because you have a week to do the exam. So if you tell me, oh, I, I missed the deadline by five minutes because I couldn't log on, that's not going to help you because you had five days before that to do it. All right. I give I leave the exam open for an entire week from Monday morning until Friday night. So there's plenty of opportunity. I'll tell you why I don't take late assignments. I am just an adjunct faculty, right? You see, if you read my bio, you know I worked in the uh, public mental health field and I worked out in the private sector for many years. And one of the things I hired and fired, unfortunately, a lot of people, hundreds of people in that time. And what we really what we really expect from somebody who's got a college degree is not that they know the job when they come to us, but that they know how to meet a deadline, that they understand deadlines and how to work on their own and how to manage their time and how to get things done so that we don't have to micromanage people. Right. So one of the things I I would like you to learn, like I think you need to learn in college is how to manage your time and meet deadlines on time. So that is why I do not accept late uh, work, okay? Uh, there is opportunity for um, extra credit up to 70 points in this class, right? So that's almost, a, that's a C on an exam. Um, so there are library workshops. I'll take up to five library workshops uh, for 50 points, right? You get 10 points for each workshop. Um, and there's five workshops available. This is the link. It will take you. They're not scheduled. The schedule isn't up yet, but it, this is where the page is where they'll be posted, right? And that'll take you right to it. Also, the other 20 points comes from completing the both the pretest and the post-test. If you don't complete both, I'm, like you get 10 points for completing the pretest, but if you don't complete the post-test, I'm not going to give you the 10 points. All right, you have to do both and get the 20 points. Okay. So this is right how it breaks down. There's 700 points possible, not, not counting the extra credit. All right. And then this is how it breaks down for the grade. Okay. And then all the assignments and the weekly schedule, right? So all of this is apt to change based on, and then all the um, verbiage from the college, right? Which I know you're probably not going to read, but is there. So the important part here is this, right? That you stay on schedule, that you follow this, right? So this week you have to review the syllabus. Review and sign the learning contract, which says you read and understood the syllabus, and you do the pretest, right? So, and all of this is in the assignments, right? So I put it, everything is in the assignments. You don't need to go anyplace else. You just click on the assignments, your smart book, your quiz, your pretest, all of that stuff is here, okay? Um, so far, I got about your first month's work loaded, but up to the first exam. All right, so for like three or four weeks worth of work. Um, and I'll get the rest loaded, don't worry. Uh, but I'll just keep everything in the assignments. You don't have to go anyplace else. Um, the only thing in the module, like in the modules, this is the syllabus research paper. I only have the syllabus in here now, but I'll be adding um, a sample APA paper. I'll be adding the rubric for the grading of the paper um, and some other odds and ends, okay? So this is the module that you'll have to look at, right? And that's it. That's really all you need to do in, in this, right? So like I say, you go here, right? And you click on my button and you go to this video that you're watching right now. <laughs> How's that? So this is uh, actually the video for um, chapter one. So, um, Unfortunately, teaching online human sexuality is not nearly as much fun. There's no role opportunities for role playing or the games I play when we're in person. However, you will get all the same uh, information. Uh, the lectures are kind of dry, just PowerPoints with some comments that I make here and there. Uh, I, so, uh, and it's really a reflection of the book. 
Uh, all the exams are going to come directly from the book, so there's not really anything else. Whatever I add outside of the book is just uh, is not. You're not required content, or I don't expect you. I'm not going to be like I said. There won't be any questions on any exams about any extra content that I add outside of the book. Okay. So hopefully, let's see. I'm going to stop sharing. Hopefully that's enough to get you started. As I said, please ask me any questions you like. I'll respond by email. If we need to meet and discuss something, I'm more than happy to do that. Okay. And then, um, uh, and I think that's about it for today. Right. So, oh, you know what I didn't show you? I know what I didn't show you. So let me go back here. And I didn't show you. The learning contract. So here's your student learning contract. I just want to do this real quick. Ah, I can't show you because it's locked. So I'll have to leave the student view <laughs> and go to um, my page, right? So I will, oh, so here's the student learning contract, right? Just like it's in yours, just like I showed you. It'll be available by the time you're watching this. So you. Um, Look at this. So download this, right? All you need to do is download it. When you download it, you'll get a, a version that allows you to just type your name and date in here, All right? This is how you do your signature. You just type your name and date in there, save it, and then upload it back into uh, the assignment, All right? That's how you get it done, okay? Uh, I know there's always people that have issues with that. It, I mean, I don't know what to say, but that's the easiest way to do it. If you need to, if you're going to have to print it out to sign it, then you're going to need to scan it, get, turn it back into a PDF and do it. So you're better off just downloading it, uh, typing your name and the date in there and getting it in. Okay. So that is the last thing I needed to do. And I'm going to go here and let's see, I need to stop sharing somehow. <laughs> there we go. Uh, anyway, all right, so that's it. I hope you got all that. I hope, and as I said, if, you didn't, if there's any questions, just email me. I'll get back to you uh, really quick. All right. so. This is a great opportunity to learn about yourself and learn about people. So um, I hope you enjoy this class. Uh, I hope that you take advantage of it and um, do some self-exploration. And uh, like I said, together we'll get through it and you'll move on. Thanks, bye.